Jimdo complete tutorial for beginners step by step guide. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we create our own website using jimdo.com. It's not that hard so let's get started. Firstly we need to visit our website jimdo.com and then just click on start free on the home page here. So let's click. After that we'll have to create an account so we can sign up with Google, Facebook, Apple or with our email. In this case I'm going to use Gmail as for me this is the most suitable variant. So we need to continue terms of service. Let's click on continue. And after that on this page just choose the Gmail account we'd like to use for our account creation on Jimdo. After that we'll have to answer for some of their questions and they create a website according to your answers. I've already done it so uh, now we are on our homepage. As you can see in the left side we have our dashboard, website builder, store, statistics, logos, marketing, contacts and email. This menu is right up here. On the dashboard we can find a lot of information about our profile. So basically we can find the name of our domain. Of course it provides us the opportunity to use it for free. As you can see it looks like this with jimdosite.com but we can also get the domain. We can simply buy it by the upgrade plan. So it provides us the opportunity to choose it right up here. Also, we can choose a plan from this page. We'll discover it a little bit later. And of course, there's like different stages of our site creation. As you can see, I've already created website and add our first product. So basically, when you answer for your questions in the like quiz, the website will be automatically created. So now we'll have only to customize it. Also, we can find a lot of different information, explore different tools about Jimdo, like website, online store, CEO, bookings, and so on. So it's pretty cool. In order to come to our website, we need to click on edit website in the right top corner right up here, or we can simply go to website builder folder in the left side menu. So let's click right up here and we'll come to our edit page where we can find how does our website looks like basically after our questions. Uh, it's pretty easy to customize so let's get started as you can see while I'm hovering we can find the different uh, options we can deal with firstly of course our uh, like site is divided into different sections for example this section is right up here we can deal with it by simply clicking on these parts here so we can for example change the folder order the section order basically by simply clicking on this arrow right up here so we can move it up or move it down it's pretty easy we can also duplicate our section if it's necessary for example if we have like two sections which looks the same we can delete this block we can just do some other stuff copy or just block design um, this is a way of how can we deal with a section design we can customize every single block here for example we can change the some text we can add them different styles make it bold italic Basically, we need to select it and then just change the alignment, change the style, make it the list or insert the link. For example, if you want to make it as a clickable link to, for example, some other websites or maybe our social media. So in the same way, we can uh, deal with these like uh, button here. We can simply do it by clicking and then just customizing, change the alignment, add the link and so on so basically our button can lead to different pages url or email to call to booking service or to link to files basically it's pretty cool so in this case uh, we can uh, modify every single part here we can change the background image and so on also we can add different sections if we need for example as you can see we have the button between two sections add a block so it means that we can add some uh, blocks here and they provides us the opportunity we can choose the uh, block from different templates for example a cover about area text right up here columns images and so on i'm going to add columns maybe i think this one is pretty good so i just simply click and it was successfully added to our uh, website basically so we can customize every single part here so we can click and then just change the image for example choose video we can edit the uh, image right up here we can zoom in zoom out or add some links so every single um block here is customizable so we can click and do everything we need 
Also, there is like uh, different options here. For example, with design area, we can edit color palette here. It's pretty cool as for me. So we can choose the different palettes and our website will be automatically changed according to our like changes here. So we don't have to change every single button, maybe every single background. We can just change the whole website palette here. And as for me, it's pretty cool. And I think this one is pretty good. So let it be like this I click on done. And after that, we can also change the fonts here. I'd like to change the font a pack. So I'm just going to find uh, something which is suitable as for me. I think this one is pretty good. Yeah, just click on done. So this um, folder provides us the opportunity to customize the whole website. Basically, um, as for me, it's pretty cool because we can choose the template and then just customize it uh, to all we need without like changing every single part. Also, we can customize the buttons, we can just change it to oval. And I'd like to also add animations like fade in. So now it looks like this basically. Uh, also there is like pages area where we can change the navigation right up here. So as you can see, we have like home, we have storage, system pages, uh, contextual pages and store pages. In this case, we can uh, manage the pages right up here. Also, we can find the domains here. So we can find the domain of our website. It looks like this. Also, we can upgrade and then just use it right up here. So if we'll come back to main menu in the left side, we can find the store area where we can deal with our store. From this page, we can add different products. So we can edit store, add some orders, manage orders, products and business profile. Also, we have like statistic folder where you can find a lot of statistics in order to get started. We need to publish our website to uh, get visitors. And after that, we are able to analyze all the data about them. Also, we can use Google Analytics, as you can see, different listings and of course, find some settings. So uh, there is like also a logos area where we can add like our logo of our channel we'd like to work for. Also, there is like marketing area with business listings, Facebook and Instagram and search engines. And of course, there is like contacts area where we can find like contact uh, with WhatsApp. So they have like paid plans. If you'll come to our like a great page, we can discover different plans from like zero uh, plan to start, grow and unlimited. As you can see, the price is different and the differences are right up here. The main differences. And there is also like different plans for online stores like basic business and web and i think if you're going to use it you can try it for free and after that decide is it necessary to pay for this service for example like grow plan maybe is for you so basically this is a web how can we use jimdo.com how this video helped you out please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye